guys, today I want to talk to you about how to store dog food properly. This is what we get. We get a big 20, 20 pound bag of dog food. Most of the time you buy a huge bag of dog food just because it's more cost effective. And that's what I do too. But this is where the tricky part of that comes in. So dog food will actually go rancid, even dry dog food, because dog food is coated with oil to keep it fresh. But that oil is usually like a fish oil or something. And so the longer that's exposed to air and just left out open, the quicker it goes rancid. And so a lot of times you'll notice whenever you open a fresh 20 pound bag of dog food, your dog is so excited and they're like wanting to eat it like they've never had that kind of food before. And towards the end, you know, they're not as excited. Maybe they still eat it, but they're not as excited or they might even, you know, turn their nose up and say, I don't like this anymore. The reason that's happening is because the dog food is actually going rancid. The way you can prevent that, there's a few different things you can do. I am kind of overkill with it since I found out. So I'm gonna show you what I do. So the first thing I do, whenever I open up a bag of dog food, I break it down into smaller quantities. So I just have a vacuum sealer and I use these bags and I break it down into smaller quantities. That way, not as much is open at once. Obviously, you can get bigger vacuum seal bags. Now, these are BPA-free vacuum seal bags. I know there's gonna be people who say, well, you shouldn't put it in plastic. I get that. Um, if I could figure out a large glass storage system that would vacuum seal like I needed to, I would do that. This is what I have at my disposal, so this is what we use. I still think it's better than the food going rancid, so this is where we are. So this is the vacuum sealer I have. It is a very inexpensive vacuum sealer. I will link it for you guys. I've had it maybe about a year or so, um, and it works fine. So this is not a top of the line vacuum sealer. I think this one was like 20 or 30 bucks. It wasn't a lot of money. Obviously, if you have a nicer vacuum sealer or if you can afford one, I would probably get a nicer one if you could afford it just because it's gonna have a better chance of lasting longer. But this is what I have. This is what I could afford. So this is what we use. The other thing I do is as I open those little bags, I put them in the freezer. So if you don't want to vacuum seal all of your dog food and you have a freezer big enough, you can just put the whole bag of dog food in your freezer and that's fine too. That keeps it fresh. And that is what I do. I take out about half of the bag of dog food and I put it in vacuum seal bags and then I store those dry. This serves two purposes. Number one, I don't have a 20 pound bag of dog food in my freezer, so that's helpful. The other reason this is great is because I know this is about four days worth of food for her, maybe three and a half, four days of food for her. So if we have to go on a trip for some reason, I can just grab one of these sealed up already, you know, put it in my bag and it's fine. Measure how much you're putting in these. So if you do have to travel with them for some reason, you know, you know exactly how much is in here. It's not necessary to put those in the freezer. So what I do is after I vacuum seal them, I store the vacuum sealed ones in the cabinet until we open it. And then after we open it, I put them in the freezer. And that way it just kind of retains its freshness. I don't want to feed her rancid food. I don't want her food to taste bad for her. And she can't say, hey mom, this tastes funny. The only thing she can do is eat it. And I feel like that's the best thing I can do for her is just try my very hardest to make sure that it's fresh and taste as good as it possibly can. She loves her food and she's so excited anytime that she gets, you know, a fresh bowl of food out of the freezer. She likes it cold. I don't know if that's something all dogs would like or not. So obviously if you have a dog and they don't like it out of the freezer, what you could do is just take their portion out for the day, put it on the countertop, let it, you know, get to room temperature and then put it in their bowl. And that's fine too. Um, it's not gonna go rancid any quicker whenever it comes out of the freezer. So you still have a little bit of time. But it kind of disturbed me to see online it said that dog food will last six weeks after it's open. I don't think that's right. Um, I think that it's closer to like two weeks. Everything that I read just like on a, whenever you Google how long does dog food stay fresh, it says six weeks. But some stuff that I had read from Natural Dog Magazine said two weeks. And I kind of trust them more because after I'm looking back through my life with dogs, I know that like Bella and Oscar, whenever their food had been open for more than, you know, a week or so, they were like, oh, this is not as exciting as it once was. And they had the same food over and over, you know, so it's not like they got a different flavor or something. So I think it's closer to two weeks. So that's, that's just kind of my opinion. Um, the other thing is if 
you are concerned about this now that I've brought it to your attention and you're like, I, I can't afford a vacuum sealer or I don't have enough space in my freezer, maybe you could buy smaller quantities of dog food, like smaller bags, still buy the same. Like if you're buying 20 pounds of dog food at once, maybe buy two smaller bags, two 10 pound bags or whatever. It's gonna cost you a little bit more, but you know, your dog's health is important, obviously and I'm not trying to make anyone feel like crap, but I would hope that someone would do that for me. I would hope that whenever I was little and I couldn't do things on my own, I would hope that my mom said, hey, even though it might be less money, I'm not gonna feed her rancid food or something that tastes bad or is not as nutritionally solid anymore because of it's cheaper to do it this way or because of I don't have room in the freezer. Like I would hope my mom would make room for my stuff in the freezer, like pile some stuff up, do something, you know, or at least buy a, a vacuum sealer so that my food would stay fresh. Dogs can't talk, they can't tell us that this sucks and it tastes bad, so we kind of have to advocate for them. And whenever I saw this, I got really upset because I just knew in my heart that whenever Bell and Oscar were alive, I know that's why they didn't like their food as much, you know, as the bag would be open. And it made me sad because I can't go back and fix that for them. So anyways, that's how I store her food. The other thing you guys want to make sure you're doing, which you probably already know this anyway, but make sure you're washing your dog's bowl with soap and warm water. Use a glass bowl if possible. Metal is a second good one. Um, plastic's a no-no. Don't use plastic bowls. And the other thing, make sure you're giving your dog filtered water. If you wouldn't drink out of your tap water, don't give your dog tap water. Obviously, some places have better water quality than other places, so if you know that your water is safe for you to drink out of the tap, like really safe, not just like what the government says, like, oh yeah, it's fine, but like really, really, you know, it's testing low. You can get a water report from your county water system in the U.S. Like, you can actually go on their website and get a water report and see, you know, what levels they're at. So the water filter that we actually have, we have this right here. It is a zero filter and it comes with a reader. So what you do with this thing, you can just get one of these online. You don't have to have the filter thing, but you know, if you can, if you can get like a water filter thing, I really like the one that we have, it holds a lot, but this thing actually tests the water. So what you do is you just put this in, in your plain tap water and see what it reads at. And then you can also do the same after it's gone through the filter. Um, obviously you can test any water with it and see what it's reading, but you want it to read as close to zero as possible. Our water reads, hold on, I'll tell you. Yeah, so our tap water here, it reads 30. So that's like not good. It can contribute to bad things, you know, for you. It can contrib contribute to bad things for your dogs. So I'm gonna link the zero filter for you guys. I'm gonna link the vacuum sealer that I have for you guys as well. So I hope this has been helpful to you guys. Um, like I said, I didn't know this information until maybe about a year, year and a half ago. If you can't spare the space in your freezer, if you can't do vacuum seal bags, if you, none of that is a possibility for you, no matter what you do, don't take your dog food out of the bag it comes in. Leave it in that, roll it down, press as much air out as you can every time, seal it down, and then put that bag down into a plastic bin. You want the least amount of air to get to the food as possible so it keeps it fresh for as long as you can. So I hope this has been helpful for you guys. I'm gonna link some Vlogtober videos here, a subscribe button here, and some other fun video here. Bye guys.